why don't you introduce exactly what is shame? It's sort of an ongoing joke that every time I'm asked this question, I say something different because there's so many different levels or perspectives at which you could look at shame. So each time I'm trying to like, just really get to the heart of it. And I think where I'm at now is to say that it is an unpleasant sensation that we have in reference to ourselves. So we might feel fear about something external threatening our safety, but shame and that whole, it's a whole spectrum in my mind of emotions in shame. It says there's some threat related to me, who I am, what I'm doing, or how I fit in because we're such a social animal. So it really is a fascinating emotion because it's about us. It's about our view of ourselves. Does that start to capture it for you? And after having read the book, does that feel like a nice starting point? Yeah, I, I do think it's a I do think it's a good starting point. And I'm gonna I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper, um, specifically into the book, because you outline shame as sort of having two components: a central component yeah. and then another component, which sort of comes as a consequence of the central one. Um, so maybe you can outline that. What are the two sort of sides of shame? Yeah, and so this now is inspired by affect theory. And the idea is that at the core of shame, as you said, there's a feeling which we're going to call shame affect. And so that is a spectrum of sensations that are unpleasant and that based on the way they happen, make us look at ourselves and our position. And then on top of that feeling, we start to use our cognitive brain to make sense of it. So we create these very powerful stories, beliefs, messages as to what that feeling, shame affect, means when we feel it. And so those two parts kind of get wired together in our child brain is the theory. And from then on, when you feel, I'm imagining that, that you know, with the spectrum of shame, it's more like when you feel a certain amplitude of shame in a certain kind of situation, it brings online a belief that I am bad or I am unworthy or I am different. I'm, I'm alone. Something like that is often the interpretation. But at different amplitudes and in slightly different social situations, we might interpret it slightly differently. But at the core, it tends to be an unpleasant feeling that makes me look at myself and decide there's something wrong with me. Maybe I don't fit in. Mm -hmm. And that the, the the feeling the feeling tone is sort of the is the central part the secondary the cognitive effects they're sort of the interpretive lens upon which we sort of put uh, on, onto which we put those feelings which are learned throughout life exactly exactly and I think a big part of why we pretty universally interpret it as I am bad is because it is an unpleasant feeling simple as that. <laughs> 